Hello everybody, Leather Jacket Guy here, and today I want to show you guys a route that I'm working on that I recently ported to Trains 2019. It's called Western US Steam, and the point of it is to basically have a route that you can run steam locomotives or early diesels, so the route takes place between 46 and 51, I'd like to think. And it's predominantly based on the Tacoma and Eastern Railway of Washington. So to start here is the main yard that the route starts on, or I guess where you start on the journey. And the roundhouse is the CNO Hinton roundhouse, since that's the best model I could find. The facility can service both coal and oil fired locomotives, no wood fired ones since this is again supposed to be in the 40s. There is also an old water house here and two, I like to think of either dead storage tracks or maybe they could even be caboose tracks or parts tracks or really whatever you want them to be. There's also an ice house here and two additional sidings to store loaded and unloaded cars. The small town here is incomplete and more than likely I will end up redoing it as it really looks kind of bad, but it was good enough for when I built it. This area here will more than likely stay. It's a little junction for the roads, gas station, you know, little stuff there. There's also this, uh, I believe this is a coal merchant, and it's supposed to look abandoned. Maybe I'll change the grass around it, but it's more or less a placeholder for right now. And moving up the line, we have what more than likely will be the official station of the town, and a little area here where cars are unloaded. I don't know if it's called a docking bay in railroad terms, but we have one here. There will more likely be a town back here where my mouse is. Moving up the line, or going right from there, we have the lumber mill. And this is the old Trains 2004 interactive one. It will more than likely be staying. I might add some things to it, but this is the uh, lumber mill of the town. There's also a station here. I'm not sure if this one's going to stay, and the town's going to be built over here, and the rail yard's outside the town. So it's more or less a placeholder for right now. And so heading up the line here, and a lot of the scenery isn't done, but we come to a quarry, which will be here eventually. I'm not sure if it's going to be rail served or not yet. I've been thinking it will, but again, I'm not entirely sure, nor even what it's going to actually be mining. And heading up the track here, again, scenery is partially completed. Have this nice wooden bridge here that crosses the river on a curve, or as best crossing a river on the curve as I can do. And you basically go through a straightaway here along the side of some mountains, or I guess they'd actually be hills. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually make this more curved because a straight line doesn't make as much sense, but for right now it, it, it works. And we curve over again through some more unfinished scenery, cross another river here, highway runs right alongside the tracks, still needs a bit of refinement. And we're gonna head, I believe this would be north on the line. Coming over to where the road crosses over the railroad again, coming around this little hill here, and following it through here. Again, scenery is not quite done, but I got the basics in. And we're gonna be following the river some more, road splits off, tracks underneath the ground, because again, area is not scenic yet. It will be eventually. And here we come to a passing siding, or at least on the real railways, a passing siding. That's quite long, and when I look at Google Maps, it almost looks like there used to be an industry somewhere in this area, but I've chosen not to do anything with it yet, as this area is all undeveloped. And we have our double track section. That goes all the way to the town of Elb. This is actually single tracked in real life. And the real life town is called Elb. I'm not sure what this one's going to be, because it's not exactly the same. But we descend here, and I think an average of 1.5% or something like that into this little town here, which has a couple of industries that you can interact with, and a station, of course. Not much of a yard, but it's also not really a main station or anything like that. I might add some fueling facilities here to give the town a bit more of a purpose, but this is what the town looks like as of right now, and again, more than likely this will be redone. I think I want to make this look a little bit more rural and not so developed. And heading out here, road crosses over and heads that direction. And the railroad kind of follows the road, or I should say the road follows the railroad since the railroad came first. 
up to a Y up here. On the real Tacoma and Eastern, I'm not sure why this Y is here, as you, if you follow it uh, to past this end section, it goes towards Mount Rainier, although it never actually reaches anywhere near there, but the track does go on for a little bit in real life. And we'll be heading, this would be east, I believe. Passing through a bunch of unscenic areas, although the track work is in. And we have a branch here that will eventually go off to either a mine or a logging camp. More than likely it'll be a logging camp, as I believe that was there, what was there in real life, and this stuff is more or less just placeholders at the moment. And we'll come to the town, I believe this is the real town of Mineral. And in actuality, there is a big lumber mill here, as best I could gather. However, I've gone for a boxing plant, I believe that's what it's called, to have some interactive industries. And you could also do a fair amount of switching, since I've made the tracks as realistic as possible here, or at least as close to the prototype. And it looks like the tracks are not loading in again after that point for some reason. And there's also going to be, or there's also an oil field here, so you have a reason to have tank cars on this railroad. And let's see if I can get the tracks loaded in and we'll continue. Alright, got the tracks loaded in, although I have to completely reload the route for some reason, so if you're wondering why the video's cut strangely, that's why. This town again is mostly done and is very heavily based off of the real life town, with a few minor exceptions, and it's also not quite complete as well. I might make it a little bit smaller again to really show how rural this area is in the 1940s or uh, sorry, late 40s, early 50s. Road semi follows the track for a little bit. And again, we go through a bunch of unscenic areas. And track's not loading in again. And I don't think we're too far from the final stop. This area had a lot of different track work. And since it's all in scenic, more than likely those will be cut out. Oh, here's the track again. Okay. And this section of line, I believe, is actually right around 11 miles, actually. Or uh, 10 route miles, sorry. And we come in here to the final town, which I've done some work on. I think is actually where I started. There's a little oil refinery, or not oil refinery, sorry, a little oil dock here as well that services the town. And we have another logging industry of some sort. It can be whatever you want. It's not an interactive industry. And this track work is actually quite tight. And we come into the final town as of now, which has its own locomotive fueling facilities and can turn engines around and even has a small roundhouse. Again, this area, or sorry, this yard can service both coal and oil fired locomotives, or at least will be, I think. Nope, I have not put in the bunker sea oil filler here. There's also a, I believe this is a door factory, or maybe it's a cabinet factory, one of those two, and is the only industry besides the uh, lumber and oil currently there. The station will more than likely stay here, as that's where it is, that's where it was slash is in real life. I don't think the tracks actually connect anymore. And again, this is going to be a larger town, may possibly be the largest town on the line. And eventually, the track right here will continue on and go to a portal, so that this can either have a short line feel or like a branch line, secondary line. Uh, I think that's more what I'm going for as a secondary line. Or it could be a main line as well, plenty of them were single tracked in the area. And that is it for the overview of the route. And I will see you guys next time when we actually start to do some more work on it and try not to get frustrated with trains 2019 breaking or just not being able to edit rolling stock and i just poured it back to trains a new era see you guys next time